I am a student at IIT Madras. In my life, the time I had spent at IIT is where I had the least mental peace. So in this video, I am sharing the harsh reality of studying at an IIT. IIT Kharagpur is a very intelligent girl. Tanak gets a dead body. Milti hai. Us... Everybody is getting placed and you need to get placed soon. I had a dream while I was uh, preparing for gate exam that I will join IIT, I will study well, I will get this much CGPA, I will make a lot of friends and I will get 35 lakhs per annum package. Woo! Life settled bro. <laughs> Let me tell you, there are a lot of mental pressure at IIT. You might be a ranger in GATE or JW, but here you are competing with the rangers and you can't outsmart them because they also work hard. So when you put in the hard work and if you didn't get the expected results, you will end up in stress. And these topper friends, sometimes they won't help also. Oh, I can't able to solve this assignment problem. Let's ask our topper friend. Where he went, he's not picking up the call also. The next day. Sir, I finished. <gasps> It's popularly called as RG in IIT Madras. Uh, maybe someone can explain what is RG. So RG is basically studying without saying they're actually studying. And the pressure in IITs is so high here, even some of them do commit suicide. But you know what? IITs are not the one to blame. They are doing everything to prevent this happen. Recently, we had a conversation with IIT Madras director. We had wellness club. We have counselors coming to our hostel to check our mental health regularly. And there is a nice initiative by IIT Madras called Kaushal. But despite that, Sometimes people are under stress. When we come to IITs, we often think of that one crore ka package. But truth be told, majority of my friends, they actually got a placement which is like 10 LPA, 12 LPA. But that is actually CTC. So per month, we'll get around 80 to 90K. You might be asking why. The first reason is competition. Second reason is placements also have a luck factor you know there are students who get shortlisted for one interview and they had cracked that interview and they will get 70 lakhs per annum package and on the other side you might have seen students who attend so many projects so many cool stuff they will get shortlist of you know 10 15 companies and they also getting up one package of around 15 13 or something like that so that is one dark reality and placement season is going to be one of the stressful phase in your entire life so if anyone is about to join them and get prepared for it. The same stress I am also getting when I see 77 percentage of you are just viewing and not sub so subscribing this channel would be Woo! Now this is one side of the story but the other side of the story is whenever my friends they actually get a job they were working for some six months or one year and then they are actually getting fired. Is IITs are the one to blame? No. Then why? The answer lies in the Diary of CEO book written by Stephen Barnard explains this concept. In order to be successful in career, one has to fill these five buckets in the right order. First bucket is knowledge, what you know. The second bucket is skills, what you can do with the knowledge, what value you can create to others with the knowledge that you have. Third one is network, who you know. And the fourth one is resources that is money or the AI that you use for your support. And the fifth bucket is reputation that is what the world thinks of you and you have to fill the buckets in the right order knowledge and skills are the most important buckets out of all because even if you lose all the other buckets if you have the first two buckets you can get all these things back that's why it is important to choose a job where you can learn the most or the one which pays you the most i think the students who are getting fired are actually failing to fill the first two buckets you might be asking me so ragu are you saying iits don't help you master the skills no not at all iits provide every opportunities for you to excel in the field iits will help you to learn technology behind the revolutionary hyperloop ai mars rover technology iits have the best resources in india you have to be proactive and learn. some of them i know they just prepare for placements two to three months and they somehow got into a company but once they started working they stopped learning as our director once says you're a cobbler be the best cobbler being an expert in the field is so important in job survey that's also why nowadays schools of technology is a hype where you have relevant curriculum for four years which help you master one particular skill talking of skills recent article in economic times mentioned the jobs in ai and ml are rapidly growing in india 37 percentage year on year increase in may that's why doing a four-year b-tech offline classroom program in ml and ai from polaris school of technology thought by ctos founders and tech leaders 
will help you make an expert. With 5,000 hours of hands-on experience, coding with experts, semester-wise internship in top tech companies, and 10K dollar seed funding for your startup, Polaris will nurture to make your dream career in AI and ML. And moreover, Polaris students cracked Google Summer of Code, eight participated in Summer of Bitcoin, and multiple students landed up in the internship of big, big companies. So why waiting for? I have added the link in the description. Do check it out. Sorry, 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 come up, the next thing is intoxicant. I somewhere read in Quora which says, I had an opportunity to be a part of one of these great institutions for a period of five years. Let me recall some of the secrets. Weeds, drugs, alcohol and cigarettes are some of the easily available things you can get inside and outside campus. I am completely against all of these. There is nothing like this you can access inside the campus. IIT Madras is strictly prohibited against all of these and there are regular inspections in hostel rooms and if they find if you are using any of this then there will be strict action against you. But despite that, the students somehow access to it. I have seen chain smokers, alcoholics, girls going to pub, they smoke, they drink. I'm not here to comment whether it is right or wrong for them, but these things do exist. And if you are a student, if you end up in a wrong friend circle, your life might also get wasted. So, and the final dark secret is IITs have the most freedom out of all. I'm so happy to be at IIT because IIT gives me so much freedom. I can go to lab and work at lab at whatever the time I want. If there is a work I have to do in my entrepreneurship project, I can go to the incubation cell and I can work. There will be AC there, Wi-Fi 24 by 7, you have the conference room there and you can go out of IIT whenever you want. You can come to IIT whenever you want. IIT has the most freedom out of all the engineering colleges in India, hands down, no disputes. But Despite why I add this point is, I have seen some of the students, they will be like, after one year, they will either find a boyfriend or girlfriend. And you know, when you end up in a place where you have the most freedom, you know what will happen. Whatever you are thinking is actually right. IITs are strictly against this, but these things do happen. So does all of these make IITs bad? I strongly believe it's not. I myself as a student face a lot of pressure during my gate exam. And recently an article written in India today mentions over 80% of Indian engineers are unemployed. Also, I don't think only students from IIT are getting addicted. So if we judge IIT by just these things, then that's your take. But for me today, I realize that all the changes that happened to me was because of IIT. I secured 8.69 CGP. I cracked IELTS with 7.0 bands in 7 days, which make me eligible to join in Harvard, MIT, or AIL. I published a paper in Springer. I grew this YouTube channel to 95k subscribers. We explored startup. Our startup got incubated at IIT Madras Incubation Store. And we started a podcast project. And the first video that we made in that channel went viral. I think it's all because of the ambitious people who are living around in this campus. It kind of motivates me to learn and upgrade myself every single day. But overall, if I ignore the competition and if I focus on myself improving every single day, that will do the job, isn't it? So the bigger question is, will you focus on improving yourself every single day? But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight.